If you have ever made renovations to your home or perhaps added on to your business, you know how complicated it can be to get the right building permits approved from the city of Austin. We have uh, told you here before about the backlog permitting crisis as the city is dealing with a bigger than ever workload. Tonight, owners of bed and breakfast inns in central Austin are fighting to continue a project. KXAN's Angie Bevan has their story. Nestled in historic Hyde Park. This has been a bed and breakfast for uh, 16 years. My wife Liz and I uh, took it over from her mother uh, about four years ago. The owners of Adam's house. So this is the Monroe Shipe room. Wanted to expand on their property. They decided to build on in the back. We have applied for a permit. Uh, we, after about nine months, we were granted a permit. We started construction on that property in uh, late November of 2013. And in early January, the permit was pulled. Four months later, unfinished business. This area will be the main living area and dining space. Liz and Eric tell us that they're building on this addition for a new place for them to live. In Austin, bed and breakfast owners must live on site. City officials say that makes permitting for those properties complicated. It was a mistake, no doubt about it. Planning Department Manager Jerry Rustoven says their staff incorrectly issued the Adams House a residential permit and not a commercial site plan. And the permit approved a building larger than what code allows. Uh, we're very sorry that the error occurred. When you produce as much permits as we do, every once in a while a mistake will be made. and. Um, we need to change it. We need to fix it. I think they want to do the right thing, but I think someone is just is is reluctant to step up and take responsibility. In Austin, Angie Bevan, KXAN News. Tonight, the Board of Adjustments will look over the Adams House case. They could vote and give the go-ahead. If not, city council members will hear the Planning Commission recommendations and vote on it next week. The city of Austin is in the process of rewriting current land development codes to simplify them. The planning department expects that to take about three years.